All right, let's talk about Aiden O'Connell, the quarterback for the Raiders, who, you know, played a handful of games for them, actually played the majority of the season for them, although not much more than the majority, he played just a little over half of the games, and definitely showed flashes, but also uh, didn't necessarily light up the light the world on fire, and I kind of wanted to make a film study and talk about what, what can we do with Aiden O'Connell? Is there hope for him as the potential NFL starter? Is he a backup? Is he not even that? Well, let's get into it. First, the statistics are, you know, not great, uh, not terrible either, though, like, uh, you know, underwhelming, I think is maybe the uh, word as, you know, uh, passer rating of 83.9, 12 touchdowns to seven uh, interceptions. Again, uh, for a rookie, it's fine. If this was a 10th ten, year player, you'd be saying get him out of here, but that's not the case. If you look at his pro football focus grades, you're going to find pretty similar, uh, you know, a 65.9 grade. Again, it's for a rookie, it's fine. So, okay, numbers aren't, you know, are, are kind of saying he was all right. Let's get into the film, though. That's going to be kind of the better indicator of what we can really expect from him in the future. So first, let's talk about what he does well. I think, you know, uh, when I was doing my evaluation for quarterbacks last year, I was looking at guys who could be could potentially be the next Brock Purdy. And what I meant by that was a guy who could just come in and run an offense pretty well. Maybe doesn't have the elite physical traits and isn't going to be drafted in the first round because of that, but could maybe be someone who can run an offense. And Aiden O'Connell was one of the guys I talked about that ha having that potential. And on this play, you'll see exactly that, where multiple receivers are going to be running deeper routes down the uh, field, and then a halfback's going to be running just underneath. O'Connell is going to take the snap, he runs the play action, looks down the field, and he doesn't love what he sees. And again, for a lot of young quarterbacks, they love everything they see or nothing they see. Sometimes they'll just, you know, never make a throw. Uh, but for O'Connell, I think he does a pretty good job at throwing the ball when it's open down the field, but not throwing it when it's not open. He instead is going to just take the check down, which, you know, uh, does a pretty good job. I mean, it ends up gaining nine yards. That's a pretty good check down right there. You'll certainly take that. And this is what O'Connell definitely, I think, has down, is he has the game management side of things down. This one's another one. This time it's man coverage. You see the it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup down the field. So, okay, that's where O'Connell is going to look on a third down and eight. When it begins, Aiden O'Connell takes the snap, and you see him pretty early on making this throw. It, this is an anticipatory throw for sure. He's making this throw without knowing for sure if it's going to get open down the field, but kind of just with the feel and how it appears to be going, kind of knows he has to make this throw a little earlier, otherwise it's not going to work. And as you see, this is a well-timed throw. They're able to make that work and, you know, get the conversion. So, okay, that's cool, right? You know, the Raiders do have good receivers. He can make this stuff work. But at the same time, you know, there are some issues. Well, what are the issues with Aiden O'Connell? Well, for one thing, just stuff like this, where the way this play is going to work, honestly, you know, I'm just going to pause it right here. It's a first down and 10 situation for the Raiders. And I think this is kind of maybe maybe his biggest issue, or at least one of his biggest issues. When Aiden O'Connell takes the snap, he's going to run a play action. He's going to look down the field and, again, doesn't love what he sees. And maybe one of the potential criticisms you could give him is that he pretty much is, you know, makes his first read, if not, goes to a check down. He's not going to give you a lot else uh, other than that. He's not going to, if your play doesn't work as designed, he's not going to typically make something happen out of nothing. That's kind of a difference between him and Purdy. Purdy, when a play breaks down, can make stuff happen after the fact. O'Connell... Mostly it's going to hit the check down, which again, it is fine. Uh, that's not uh, the best thing in the world, but but you're okay with that. However, he also kind of horribly misses this check down. It almost looked like it was a throwaway, but I don't think it was. Uh, O'Connell would let some of these throws get away from him. A accuracy was a bit of an issue. Sometimes in ugly ways like that one, which again, might have been a throwaway. I'll give him that potential out, but sometimes in other ways. Something like this, where the way this is going to work is it's going to be a man coverage play. You see Jacoby Myers on this pl play and the route he's running. It's a, you know, a good route against man coverage. Definitely the right one to be looking at if you're Aiden O'Connell. So, when Aiden O'Connell takes a snap, he runs a play action. and He's going to eventually fire towards Myers. It's open. Again, the Raiders have good receivers. Obviously, Devontae Adams is awesome, but I thought Myers was a you know underrated player in New England, and now that he's not asked to be a number one receiver, he's really able to kind of thrive in Las Vegas. So he's open. It's a good situation. 
this throw is just a little bit behind and ends up getting incomplete instead. And these are the kind of issues is if you're going to be the game manager type, I mean, what do the elite game managers have? And I don't mean guys, again, not using it in a negative sense, but the, you, if you're great at managing the game, who are the elite guys? Like Drew Brees, elite at managing the game, also one of the most accurate players uh, to ever play. Tom Brady, same thing, right? Some of these misses just have to be cleaned up and some of them aren't even like horrible misses like that one, you know, watching it live, you might not even say, oh, wow, that was a miss. But you know, when you watch the replay, yeah, it was a miss. It needs to be further out. And also going over here, there's some plays I would simply just describe as like rookie bad plays, I guess I would say, like watch what happens. O'Connell takes the snap. He's going to eventually, you know, uh, just lose the football as he's trying to throw. It almost looked like a tuck rule situation a little bit, except no one touched him. He just, he lost the ball. I'm not saying this happened, like this exact thing was happening a lot, but just in general, uh, you'd have the occasional uh, you know, kind of head scratcher from O'Connell, which is the case of a lot of young quarterbacks, but it was the case with him as well. One of the inherent issues with someone that was drafted not super high in the draft trying to be a starter is you really kind of have to be good right away. It's very rare for a quarterback to come in who wasn't an early draft pick and you know have a bad first season and then still be able to get a second season and still be able to thrive, right? You look at the guys who, you know, weren't first round picks, but were able to be successful right away. You usually have to be successful right away. It's very rare uh, for the opposite to happen. So for someone like Aiden O'Connell, like, listen, he's not a super hyped up draft pick. He's not a physical freak the way some of these other guys are. So you're kind of in a situation where maybe you can try to fix some mechanics to fix the accuracy a little bit. Yes, even though he's good at the game management stuff, there is ways you can get better at that so there is that aspect of of all of it and you do expect that if he gets several years he could improve the kind of the question in the I, th I think the question that the Raiders are going to ask themselves is is it really worth it to continue to try and build around him when you could instead just try to get someone who's better now uh, again oh just go get a great quarterback easier said than done right um, they don't have a super high draft pick this year. So there's a lot of good quarterbacks. A quarterback could certainly fall or you could trade up without having to break the bank and still get a quarterback. That's an option. A lot of Raiders fans want to, a quarterback to be drafted. The you know other option is they brought in Gardner Minshew. And, and to be honest, I don't know who they're going to have as the starter. I, I do look at Gardner Minshew's contract though and say that's not usually a backup money contract situation, right? I think usually that is a, you know, uh, start, I don't want to say starter, but like, that's kind of like the low tier starter contract that you typically see. So that's the other aspect. I think what the Raiders have done though, is I think they've done a smart thing of not necessarily completely thrown Aiden O'Connell to the wolves and said he's worthless. Cause I don't think he's worthless. I do think there is pot some potential here, but I also wouldn't feel comfortable going into a season fully trying to build around Aiden O'Connell. I don't think that's the smart strategy either. I think having a plan B is good. I don't know if O'Connell is the plan A or the plan B. If, for me personally, I, I, I just think that Gar it's going to come down to preseason. I think Gardner Minshew is the better quarterback right now. I think he would win out and he would be the guy who's the starter. Uh, you know, a lot of Raiders fans want them to draft a guy. I think that's probably a good idea. If, if a guy falls to them, I would not hate drafting him. Even if it's like a second round pick, if someone falls that far, like if Michael Penix Jr. is in the second round, like I say, you know, draft him and see what happens there. Like that's a, an easy one for me. Although I like Penix a little bit higher than other, a little bit more than other people do. But yeah, I mean, as a whole, for Aiden O'Connell, I think he's all right. I think he'll be, he'll be around in the NFL for a while. The question is just, can he be like a top-tier starter? That I wouldn't necessarily bet on, but, uh, sh you know, belongs in the NFL, I think. But yeah, those are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.